you are a crafting hoarder like myself, then you'll appreciate this video. Hi, my name is Rebecca. Welcome to my channel. Also, I was a mother of a boy and his birthday was in August. So I would do this fall clean out of the toy box and I would find the most interesting things in that toy box but I knew that his birthday was coming up and there would be toys and I also knew that Christmas was right around the corner and so Santa was going to bring a lot of things that so other things needed to go out so I would be doing this massive toy box clean out anyway in that toy box I would find leftover spring and Easter items and that would be Easter eggs so now I decided those days are long gone for me but I decided that if you have that problem just like I did or if you're a crafting hoarder like myself and you buy things on sale or on clearance that these items that you may have stashed away and tucked away you might want to use them for fall and not save them for spring because i found a nifty little way to repurpose the easter eggs and use them for fall so come craft with me i had 12 craft eggs left over from easter that i purchased at the dollar tree i have purchased some brown felt and some of the craft fabric is the beige burlap and I had cut them out into rings and I had just used a small little measuring cup from the kitchen that I figured would be the right size for this and then I just cut them out with scissors I had used um I had just measured out 12 of these and then I made 12 brown and then 12 out of the burlap and then I used my hot glue and I put the little beige burlap on the little narrow part of the egg and I covered the bottom the narrow part of the egg with the beige burlap and you could actually use these you don't have to use the craft eggs this would actually work for those little plastic eggs if you were digging them out of the toy box or you had some left um, that your kids you know weren't playing with anymore you could use the plastic eggs as well um, you didn't have to use the foam eggs but this is what I had to craft with. And then I took my hot glue and I put some on the very top of the larger portion of the egg. And then I just put four little dots of hot glue and I kind of made a little hat with the um, brown felt. And then I kind of just used my fingernail. You could use like the little finger protectors or you could use like a little silicone brush or something and just kind of pinch in the sides of this and just kind of form your little felt around and the burlap will actually kind of come up around the egg and it will meet with the felt so it doesn't have to be really precise everything will just kind of tuck around each other and it will just start to form a little acorn looking shape around this little Easter egg. I just kind of worked with it until I got the shape and the little felt the way that I thought it should look and then I pulled out my red and tan twine that I picked up in the nautical section back in the spring and summer and I just made some little I secured it with some hot glue and then I just made some little bands with that twine 
around the um the egg right underneath the the felt where the felt and the burlap met that is a completely optional step i just thought it was a cute little detail and it also kind of matched everything that i had going on with my other fall decor because i have always picked up this red and tan nautical rope and i have used it for my fall crafting and so i kind of liked some continuity and so then i have all 12 of my little acorns um, ready to go i'm going to actually use this for vase filler but these would look so cute laid out in a dobo or a tear tray I had a package of the eight craft eggs that I had purchased at the Dollar Tree and I thought it would just be kind of fun to make a larger size egg so I just did the same exact thing I had the burlap fabric uh, that I had found at the Dollar Tree and then I had some brown felt and I just cut out eight circles of the burlap and eight circles of the felt and I did the same thing on the narrow portion of the egg. Then I just put some hot glue and I wrapped the burlap around the little small portion of the egg. And I really should have had my finger protectors on, but I like to, you know, I like to just mess around with things and try not to burn myself. So <laughs> anyway, um, I just kind of, folded the burlap up and kind of just made a little hat out of the burlap and folded it uh, one on top of each other, kind of made a little pleat with the burlap and then I would just kind of left a little bit of a rough edge on top and then that felt will sit up on top of that little rough edge and you'll never notice those little rough edges or those little pleats and then i was ready to put my little uh, felt hat up on the top and so i put some hot glue up on the top once i centered my felt up on top and then i just started with just a little dab of hot glue and kind of centered it and just kind of put this in the larger eggs were a little bit easier to work with than the smaller eggs and but they turned out really cute i did the four corners and then just kind of played around until i got the way it looked and then i went in with the twine and i just secured one end with the hot glue and i just wrapped it around the center of the egg just under the the little felt little acorn hat and then i just cut it off and then i just made sure everything was really nice and tight with the hot glue like i said i used this as face filler i had some ribbon that i'd purchased at the dollar tree that kind of matched everything and i used this in my little vase it's actually a candle holder but i've never actually used it for a candle holder i've used it as a vase and i thought these were just whimsical and adorable and oh so very cute thank you for watching my easter egg fall acorn craft if you like what you see don't forget to subscribe hit that bell so that you know when i've uploaded my next video and give me a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching crafts laughs and chaos